Let me show you a picture of my friend Keanu. Apparently, he's some big movie star and everybody knows him. But for me, he's just my friend. He is very nice. We talk on the phone. We watch TV. We go for dinner. For me, he's just my friend Keanu. Some people say that we look very similar. Do you think that's true? Some of my friends say that he is taller than me, which is true because he is very, very tall. Some other friends say that he is more handsome than me, Definitely not true. Hello guys and welcome to a new unit. The name of this unit is Let's Make Comparisons. What is the objective of this unit? What are we going to do? You're going to learn how to make comparisons using adjectives and using nouns. So, the first thing we are going to do is to review or to remember what are and what is the difference between nouns and adjectives. Nouns are words we use to name or to identify people, things, or animals. For example, in the picture we have a boat. A boat is a noun. We have a house. A house is also a noun. We have trees. Trees are nouns. Uh, students is a noun. Teacher, Sergio, Camilo, the puppy, the cat are nouns. And the adjectives are the words we use to describe or qualify those nouns. I can say that this is an elegant or expensive boat. Elegant and expensive are adjectives. This is a big house or an old house. Big and old are adjectives. These are green trees. Green is an adjective and tree is a noun. Remember that nouns are the words we use to name or to identify objects, people, animals. And the adjectives are the words we use to describe them, to say how they are like. And now that you know that what nouns and adjectives are, we can start making comparisons. We can start making comparisons with adjectives, but before that, I want you to meet three very good friends of mine. This is Henry, this is Shirley, and this is Arthur. There is something that they have in common. Shirley and Henry and Arthur are millionaires. They all have a lot of money. Shirley has $10 million, Henry has $8 million, and Arthur has $2 million. We can use adjectives to describe them. For example, Henry, Shirley, and Arthur are rich. Rich here is an adjective. So we can say that Shirley is richer than Henry, because Shirley has $10 million and Henry has 8. And we can also say that Henry is richer than Arthur because Henry has $8 million and Arthur has $2 million. We can use reach. We can use, this, we can use the comparative richer to make a comparison. We can also say, if you look at the picture, 
that Henry is more elegant than Arthur. And we can also say that he, Henry, is not more elegant than Shirley, because Shirley is more elegant than Henry and Arthur. We here, we have two different types of comparisons using adjectives. We can make a comparison with an adjective, an ER, but we can also make a comparison with more and then the adjective. Remember that when we compare two things in the same sentence, we use then after the comparative. Shirley is more elegant than Henry. In comparisons, we use than. You, if, it doesn't matter if you use er, the adjective. It doesn't matter if you use the adjective and er, or more and the adjective. When you make a comparison, you have to use than. But how do we know when we use an adjective, an ER, or more in an adjective that depends on the number of syllables an adjective has. For that, we have seven rules. Let's see the first rules. Most one-syllable adjectives, we add ER. For example, old is an adjective that has one syllable. So the comparative is older. Bright is an adjective that has one syllable. So the comparative is brighter. But dry finishes in Y and the comparative is drier. We replace the Y for ER. The second rule. One syllable adjectives ending in E. When the adjective has one syllable and it finishes in E, we add R. For example, nice has one syllable and safe has one syllable. So the comparative of nice is nicer and the comparative of safe is safer. Next rule, one-syllable adjectives ending in consonant, vowel, consonant. What do we do? We double the consonant and add ER. For example, big. Big is an adjective that has one syllable and it finishes in consonant, vowel, consonant. Big, the comparative is bigger, and fat. Fat has a consonant, a vowel, and a consonant. So we double the consonant. The comparative of fat is fatter. But for new, because it finishes in W, the comparative is newer. Let's see the next rule. Two syllable adjectives ending in Y. Y becomes I. And we add ER. So when we have adjectives that have two syllables, for example, EZ and finish in Y, we replace the Y with IER. EZ has two syllables. NOIZ has two syllables. So the comparative of EZ is easier, and the comparative of noisy is noisier. Let's see the next rule. Two syllable adjectives not ending in Y. What do we use? Do we use more? For example, mature. Mature is an adjective that has two syllables. Mature. And Patient. Patient has two syllables, so the comparative of mature 
it's more mature and the comparative of patient is more patient. Next rule, adjectives with three syllables or more, we also put more before the adjective. Aggressive or organized. Aggressive and organized have three syllables, so the comparative of aggressive is more aggressive, and the comparative of organized is more organized. And finally, we have the irregular adjectives. The comparative of good is better, the comparative of bad is worse, and the comparative of far is farther or farther. You can also make comparisons using nouns. Let's think about my three friends, Henry, Shirley, and Arthur, again. Shirley has three cars and two yachts. Arthur has five cars and one yacht. And Henry has one yacht and four cars. In this case, we can make comparisons using the nouns, but we are going to use more and then again. For example, Arthur has more cars than Shirley because Arthur has five cars and Shirley has three. Arthur has more cars than Henry because Arthur has five cars and Henry has four. But Shirley has more yachts than Arthur because she has two yachts and Arthur only has one. That's how we can make comparisons using nouns. We can make also comparisons using as and as in an adjective. This way we say that the first thing in the comparison is less than the second thing using the adjective. Let's see some examples. Henry isn't as rich as Shirley. Remember that in this case the order of the comparison made with as and as is the opposite of the comparison made with then. Henry isn't as rich as Shirley means that Shirley is richer than Henry. Henry isn't as elegant as Arthur means that Arthur is more elegant than Henry. And Arthur isn't as attractive as Henry means that Henry is more attractive than Arthur. This is a different way to make comparisons using adjectives with as, the adjective, and as. Now that you know how to make comparisons with adjectives and nouns, can you tell me who is more handsome, Keanu or me? What do you think? Thank you. Bye-bye.